In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a new project in EasyBib and how to share it with your teacher or a classmate. You need to be logged in and you want to check that you have the premium code. Now you want to look for the new project button. If you don't see that, you need to click on my projects and that will take you to this screen and now we're going to click on new project. It brings up this pop-up. You need to give the project a name if you're not sure. Um, I misspelled that. If you're not sure what you want to call it, you can always change this later. I'm just going to call it Elizabethan Research. You can choose a subject, but you don't have to. You don't need to fill in this box either unless you want to. You do want to leave MLA because that's the format we use, and we're going to go ahead and click Create. And if you have other projects already, you'll see that this one appears down at the bottom. And later when it refreshes, it will come up to the top. When we start to record our sources, we're going to go into bibliography, and then we're going to take notes and notebook. Right now, we're just going to share the project. So click on Share. Now you need to know the email of the person you're sharing with, and that needs to be the email that they use to create their EasyBib account with. So ask your teacher for it if it's for your teacher. I'm going to type in a teacher name, and you'll notice that refreshing that is coming up. If that doesn't happen, you might actually need to refresh your screen and do it again because your teacher may have saved some um, folders and these will only appear if that refresh happens. I'm going to allow um, her to view, edit, and comment, and I'm going to scroll, go down here and, and put it, select the correct folder. And now I'm going to share. And I know that it worked because I see um, her email appearing right here. And now I can go back to my projects and select, see it's up at the top now, and select Bibliography to start storing my sources. 